If you're a fan of IndyCar racing, then you're most likely a fan of IndyCar's feeder series, Indy Lights. The series has been in existence, albeit under various names, since 1986, and seen many of its competitors move to IndyCar. From the 2021 season, it was Kyle Kirkwood, David Malukas, and Devlin Francesco who graduated to IndyCar. At the moment, we don't know exactly what drivers will move up from the series for the 2023 IndyCar season, but one driver I'm sure will be a graduate is your current points leader, Linus Lundquist. However, you might not know this guy's story, so today I'm here not only to answer the question, who is Linus Lundquist, but also prove to you why this Swede has the makings of a future IndyCar champion. He was born in Tarasso, Sweden on March 26, 1999, and by 2005, he was already into racing. This came about after a family vacation to Finland, where he drove a kart for the first time and was hooked on racing. He then started racing in various Swedish karting championships, although the earliest results I can find of his come from 2009, when he placed 10th in that year's Swedish Formula Micro Championship. The very next year, he would come back and win the championship. He continued to find success throughout the kart ranks until 2015, when at the age of only 16, he began racing in the Nordic Formula Renault 1.6 series, where Linus ended the year in third place, and then returned the next year where he won the championship. Along with the championship in Nordic Formula Renaults, he also won the Formula STCC championship the same year in dominating fashion. That's not an exaggeration either. Of the 14 races that year, he won 10 times, finished on the podium 13 times, and won the championship by 105 points. He then moved into British Formula 4, fours and Formula 3s for the next two years, where he nearly won a title in F4 and did win a title in F3. In the offseason in 2018, there were even some rumors of him contesting the 2019 F3 season with Campos Racing. After a less than successful Euro Formula Open season in 2019, Linus switched his attention to racing in the US. Specifically, he would contest the 2020 Formula Regional Americas Championship with Global Racing Group. To put it lightly, he got off to a decent start, winning the first seven races in in a row. He was undefeated that year until David Malukas beat him in Sebring. Then Linus proceeded to win another four times in a row, finished second at Homestead, then cleaned out the year with more wins. He won the championship by 118 points, won 15 times and claimed pole at every round, scored the fastest lap in all but three races, and had an average finish of 1.3. To anyone with a functioning brain, those are godly statistics, and thus, he got a scholarship from Honda to race in Indy Lights in 2021. Honestly, his rookie year was pretty damn impressive, with Linus getting three wins throughout the year and finishing third in the standings. 2022, however, has been amazing. He hasn't finished worse than fifth this year, has four wins, and is currently leading the championship by 87 points. Now, there is a very long way to go this season, as we're just over halfway through the year as of me making this video, but he currently has a two-race buffer between him and Stingray Rob for the championship lead, and the way it's looking so far, he's only a few wins away from being able to put one one hand on that championship trophy. If Linus finds a ride for the 2023 IndyCar season, whether it be with a competitive team or not, I'm willing to bet that he'll impress. He has a remarkable ability to adapt to cars, tracks, and conditions quicker than most, and I think it'll suit him well next year. If I'm a car owner, I'd be very happy to put Linus in my car. He's a speedy driver with a lot of talent, brings a car back in one piece more often than not, and if he doesn't, he's got the sponsorship money to boot. Linus Lundquist has the potential to be an IndyCar IndyCar star. He just needs a car owner to bite at him. 